Hello and welcome back for another episode of Dex next. Stranding. I've um, marked it on your map. If I'm right, you need to deal with it fast. Last time like we right were now. out, we um, got our BB back and working properly, which is good. Um, I don't know what Dead Man was just talking about then. I can't remember what um, orders we were up to doing. We've got nothing loaded. I think we just literally just finished our, our auto deliveries, yeah. Um, we were going to go and see some bloke up here. Can't remember. He's up in the mountains somewhere, so we'll have to take on that order, I think, and go do that. Can't remember where he was, up here somewhere, so we'll... we'll all right, take on the order and get started. See what happens. Uh, all right. It's weird that we're carrying absolutely nothing on our back. What have we got in the garage? A truck. Yeah, we killed our bike. Or we killed a couple of bikes. Um. All right, orders for Sam. Corpse delivery to Hartman's lab. Or... Go up into the mountains. I mean, I don't want to go up there. <laughs> that doesn't seem like fun at all. But I will do this, I think, because that's the one I was having to continue with. Hmm, I wonder how I get up there. That lake's the shape of a love heart. Um, maybe go past the doctor and head up that way. Corpse delivery. Oh, I gotta deliver mama's corpse, right. Sure. Let's do it. Um, what am I going to need? I don't even know what I have. I'll just... I'll take a truck. I'll take the truck with me. Uh, lost cargo. What? Yeah, like everything's in here. Why? Why have I been completely unloaded? It's weird. Wow, there's so much stuff in here. Okay. So I need, um... Everything really. Wow. Alright, we'll load Mama's corpse into the truck. I'm not carrying that on my back. Let's, um. Nope. All terrain skeleton or power skeleton. I mean, we'll equip that. Power gloves, put on. These boots are good. These boots are good. Got a level three assault rifle. Shotgun, hmm. I mean, put this in grenade pouch. And then a bunch of these. Hang on, make sure they're full. Uh -huh. Remote stun bomb. Ah, uh, cancel. 
don't need it then. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Container spray. Because it's handy in the snow and I will take some PCCs just in case I want to build stuff definitely take that as well um, the bags assault rifle and a handgun I think they're level 2 oh there's a handgun level 2 there it's pretty damaged I'm, maybe I'll make make more alright let's check out the um Ah, this is awkward. All right, Sam. Take care of her. And don't worry, she won't go necro. No one getting special. Be funny if these haw of ours ended up being the key to saving us all. <laughs> like ha ha? Alright, that was bad, I'm sorry. In the truck. Order of time. Not finished here. Um I need Lethal Assault Rifle Level 3. And maybe a handgun. Should I get a handgun? Just in case. Yeah. Okay. Uh, carry on back. Carry on back. All right, let's go. Uh, hmm. I'll take this because I'm going to go past the doctor, I think. Am I going to go past the doctor? Hmm. Let me look at the map and I'll see. Mm, I could probably work my way up here. I don't know how the truck's going to go, though. Just give it a crack anyway. Out of water. Why is it out of water? Have a pleasant journey. All right. I'm sure it's not going to be pleasant. There's Hartman's lab. Up here? Wow. It's up high. Um... Weapons restrictions lifted.
still got it. running over. <sighs> Give me a break. <sighs> well, it's not nice up here. So frustrating. Let me, let me get through this gap. Yeah, that's it. Oh, can I make it down this side without... Is here. That way. Alright. Here we go. Try and get it lined up. Doesn't help when you run into nothing. What am I running into? What is happening? We just about made it. <laughs> it's, looks like it's not the way we were supposed to come, but anyway. <laughs> oh, where am I going? In here? Hello. Wait. Oh. 
What? I got the cargo. stuff on the ground okay just put it back on the truck for me now can I make the delivery that's annoying it's just tedious for the sake of being tedious Okay. Delivery complete. Displaying performance evaluation. Hmm. Remember when I rolled back down the mountain? <laughs> I love how it reminds you of the things that go wrong. Awesome! Huh, instant connection. That's good. Skilled transporter. Request to join UCA. Registered. Awaiting Cupid connection. Why is it weird? Why isn't there someone to talk to here? Boom, new strand established. Must be getting close to finished. Hartman's lab has joined the UCA. Hartman has provided design data for the following. Thermal pad. Please proceed into the facility oh, okay. with a cadaver. Okay. Good work. What's happening here? Something scary? Is happening. Fuck, man. What's going on here? the fuck he kills himself so he can go and hang out with his family episode 8 Hartman it's weird dude well you certainly caught me with my pants down uh -huh. glad you could make it Sam don't touch me I'm sorry I didn't mean to alarm you 
but I am what I am. Ah, oh, please lay her down there. Still no sign of them. <laughs> of who? You know, your heart stops beating. It stops every 21 minutes. I spend three minutes on the beach and then return. 60 Death. deaths and huh? 60 resurrections per day. 60 opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. This is how I live. This is my life. So, while mm you've traveled to and from the sea an impressive number of times, my beach count is a little higher. 218,549. <laughs> I see myself in that crater, my wife and my child. It's like looking at the shape of my heart. Oh, it is a heart The doctors shape. called it myocardial cordophonia. Mine is an especially unusual case. I have pictures. Care to see heart whence heart shaped part? Hmm. <laughs> no, you really should. It doesn't run in the family. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. In the days that followed, I became obsessed with an idea that the beach is real and they are on it. I would induce cardiac arrest three minutes at a time and search for them day after day after day. Oh, so you could say goodbye? Quite the opposite. It is said that everyone's beach is different. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? I find the thought terrifying, spending eternity alone, which is why I decided to find my family and make sure to move on with them. You mean die with them? If death would see us reunited, then yes. But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. The muscle gradually deformed. Oh, yeah. And after a while, they started calling me the beach scientist. <laughs> Hartman. I'm glad we could have this conversation. Oh. Um, Don't touch me. A body that doesn't necrotize. No sign of decomposition. It's as if she were still alive. The perfect mummy. An impeccable corpse. What's wrong? Where's the other thing you were supposed to bring? What thing? Ah, found it. Behold. Is he blind? Wait, dead man. It appears to be an umbilical cord. Human by the looks of it, I think. But this was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like a BT's tether. Huh? And this was Mama's? Yes. A body that doesn't necrotize and an umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. Enough to set my sore heart racing. Mm. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. I apologize if our conversation gets cut short. Uh -huh. I must go back to the beach and look for my wife and child. One person, one beach. That's the rule. But I'm the exception. My beach is connected to others, as if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. Maybe this twisted heart of mine made it possible. All I know is that I will find them. Even if my every visit raises new questions. Good for you, bro. I'll have my answers one day. One day. Three minutes to cardiac 
the rest. The battlefields. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Normally, the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor, a place through which they pass on the way to the other side. But if regret, uh, resentment, a, uh, a fervent desire to remain, if these feelings are powerful enough, they may give rise to an altogether different beach, a collective so you're purgatory just gonna drop for an dead army of conversation. Clifford Unger. His misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac hmm. arrest. Please proceed to a safe location. It's just a theory. You think Higgs is pulling his strings? Pulling all their strings? I don't know, but evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. One minute remaining. Hmm. Please hold on to something secure. Oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask. Activating lab security measures. Could you right. just relax until I come back? Time stops on the beach, but not in the seam. Rest assured. It'll only feel like three minutes to you. We'll continue this shortly. Five, uh, okay. Four, <laughs> three, two, one. <laughs> That's weird, dude. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, you're up here. Oh, that's cool. Gives me the chills just looking at him. Hmm. What else is around? A whale skeleton. What's happening here, Hartman? What's going on? <sighs> Gramophone. Photo of the beach immediately post Death Stranding. Authenticity unverified. Gathering likes here, I wonder. I don't know. It's nearly time up. Hurry up, wake up, dude. What's that? 
Carl Hourglass. Alright. Wake up! So weird. No luck. Visit two hundred eighteen thousand five hundred and fifty. Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? I may be used to the twenty-one minute cycle, but for a first-time face-to-face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go-around. Can't be easy living like this. Yes, and no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. No, yeah, no. Education, no, ablution, nutrition. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21 minute time slot. <laughs> Sleep is the tricky one. And intercourse, I suppose, verbal or physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about either. Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam? Uh, listen to music. Watch films. You know, I keep busy. I, I have was a collection a of music, collection. Uh, television shows, some very interesting short films, and stories. Everything consumable within a 21 minute window. Or from before the Death Stranding, of course. <laughs> but honestly, hmm. The 21 minutes I spend here, all downtime, nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. I'm already dead. I know that feeling. Lost my family in an accident. Well, I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> Okay. As it happens, I've read about your circumstances. I lost my family in an accident, too. I was in the ICU having heart surgery, out of town, in the city. When it was clear that I was going to pull through, my wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. And then they were caught in the void outs. The city and the hospital were spared the worst. But the shockwave knocked out the power. And my life support. I woke up on the beach. <laughs> People who died in the two void outs were there. It's fucking crazy. What happened? What's going on? Don't don't be don't be creepy. I saw my wife and my daughter in the procession. Hey, it's me! Where are you going? Wait! Don't leave without me! Ah, uh, poor bugger. No! Don't go! Please, don't go! The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. 
And that was the last time I saw my family. It's my damned heart's fault that we were torn apart. But it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. Hmm. It defines me. I am um, Hartman. Man. Makes sense. Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. It's funny though, even when my heart stops, the pain lingers. Um, you have any family photographs, Sam? Mm. Pity. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. <laughs> you mind telling me what I'm doing here before you go back to the beach? Oh, um, of course. Yeah, bro. There's a prepper own station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's strata tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning, one that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Of course you would. Amelie proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Despite a worldwide Where search, is that? this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period, <clears throat> when the dinosaurs died out. The assumption being that the last ones lived here and here alone. You see, hiding in the earth then are memories of a major mass extinction. Okay. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. Okay. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. Three minutes <laughs> to cardiac arrest. <laughs> Shut up. I'm putting you on mute. Whoa. Some time later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, as well as a chiral way station. The whole incident defied explanation. You think Higgs is to blame? I don't know, but we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. Oh, shit. It won't be much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like Knot Cities, <laughs> that's for sure. But a Knot is still a Knot. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armory. Okay. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the deaths. <laughs> oh, he's got a padded floor. Lol. <laughs> Don't worry about him, Sam. The air meth door absorbs the impact. <laughs> I'll unlock the door for you. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, that was so strange. Hot man, huh? Dies every twenty Sam, minutes. You heard him. You can grab the order at a delivery terminal. Mm -hmm. Alright, what do we got? Our uh -oh. ultimate objective in this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was lost to the tar. Okay. The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the chiral network. Sure. 
Now, we don't know the first thing about Emily's status or what Higgs is up to. Well, that's a concern for us as much as you. But we won't know more until we get to Edgenot City. Mm -hmm. And that means connecting this region first. We're like a minute away from Mountain You should Knot. start with the geologist and the paleontologist. Oh, the latter's holding something for the Evo Devil biologist, so I recommend you save her for last. That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Once all three are on the grid, come back here. Then we can get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. Oh, yeah. It seems hard. Okay. Um, just give me a sec. I'm going to go to the bathroom. All right, so Die Hardman said to take him and go around in order, didn't he? That one to that one to that one and back again. Uh, Anti-matter bomb. Great. <laughs> That's not something I'm really that keen on doing, but hey, what are you going to do? Really not that far from getting over the mountain either, am I? I think I'll take on both of them. A geologist of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into prehistoric extinction events. Okay. He's been out there conducting excavations for a while now and has begun to suffer the effects of chiral contamination. Sure. No doubt the result of excessive exposure to chirelium during the dig. Until the site is properly decontaminated, his work can't proceed. Nor will his health improve. So we need you to bring him some chirelium scrubbing agents. Administering shock. Stand clear. The stratum the team was investigating dates from the end of the Cretaceous period, the time of the infamous mass extinction, which this brought guy. the reign of the dinosaurs to a close, leaving small mammals to inherit the Earth. It's the most recent of the Big Five, and one of the largest mass extinctions the world has ever seen. In any event, our team found something truly remarkable. Can you guess what it was? 
A fossil beach. If that is indeed what it is, then he has made a tremendous discovery. A fossil Therefore, beach. Sam, it is essential that you deliver those Kyrelium scrubbing agents as soon as possible. Okay. One more thing, Sam. For this run, you'll be transporting an antimatter bomb. Yeah. Bottom. A Bridges paleontologist working on a dig says he needs it. Sure. Apparently, the fossils he wants to study are buried deep beneath tar. And the only way he can get to them is by blowing it wide open. Awesome. Now, hopefully, I don't need to tell you to be extra careful when handling high-yield explosives. <laughs> but in case I do, make sure you keep that container in one piece, no matter what. Yeah. I'm sure it's not going to be easy either. Thermal pad. Yep. Indispensable gear for cold weather operations. Especially useful when traversing snow-capped mountains. A device attached to the shoulder or hip that will activate automatically in snowy conditions in order to keep the wearer warm. Wearing thermal pads will reduce the degree of... What did that say? Reduce the degree to which snowy conditions drain stamina will increase the amount of stamina restored by drinking from the canteen. It will also enable the wearer to rest in snow without freezing. Onboard batteries will also contribute to overall battery capacity. The more units used, the greater the effect, but the less cargo you'll be able to attach to your suit. Okay. The batteries, the onboard batteries will also contribute to overall battery capacity. Okay, well... I think I'll take four. Um, Sam, I'm sure you haven't forgotten, but yeah. you need to be extremely careful with that antimatter bomb. Oh, I know. Especially when transporting it by a carrier or vehicle. Any irregularities should trigger an alarm. Don't ignore it. Okay. Uh, right hand. Thermal pad. Attach to suit. Very heavy. I need to get my trolley out. Mm-hmm. Have I got... Oh, there's stuff in there. Okay. <laughs> Struggle Street. Order a sign. All right. Now I've got a. Do I have it on me. I don't have the thing on me. Must be in the truck. Okay. <laughs> Just need, um, this offload. And then I will come back to the truck in a minute. All right. Take this in here. Put that on there, and then maybe put CCs, this can go on my tool rack. 
Yeah, now I'm good. Now I'm good to go. Geologist first. It's probably that way. Yeah, I think so. All right. It's not that far, but I'm sure it'll be treacherous. Let's do it. Sam. So, Hartman told you all about the lake. How the attack that created it changed his life forever. Not only did he lose his family, he very nearly lost himself. For 21 minutes, he was in a state of cardiopulmonary arrest. Under normal circumstances, he would have died. Therapeutic hypothermia saved his life. But the 21 minutes he spent on the other side had a lasting effect on him. Perhaps due to the shock, his doom's abilities seem to have increased. And now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search of his family. My apologies, Sam. You came all this way to visit me, yet I neglected to give you a proper farewell. Hmm. Do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, this region is rich in memories of death and extinction. Right. It should come as no surprise that BTs are sighted here more frequently. Awesome. Perhaps you recall the models in my lab. Their designs were all based on eyewitness accounts. Though I suppose they must have struck you as strange, considering the many times you've come face to face with the real McCord. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're gonna have a, a rough trip up here. Hmm. Wonder if I can go straight over. I feel like this way is gonna be BT central, but we'll do it anyway. with umbilical cords by sneaking up behind them and using your cord cutters. How the hell am I going to sneak up on a BT? Don't they come after me?
Relax, baby. We're okay. up my battery too. I can't really go up there. I just need to keep following the following the path. die. mail about that. I probably should have read it. Uh, yeah. BTs that aren't affected by your blood. How are things, Sam? Have you hit the coast yet? You can't be far off, I'll bet. You'd be pleased to hear that local porters are doing their best in your absence and those somatic grenades you brought are making a huge difference. Speaking of all things somatic, though, we've received a report that suggests there are some BTs out there that aren't affected by your blood. The BT in question glowed bright red, apparently, apparently, and the poor porter who ran into it barely lived to tell the tale. He'd brought plenty of hermetic grenades with him, but they didn't seem to do the trick. As you can imagine, this is a seriously concerning development. I mean, your blood was the only weapon we had against those things. What are we supposed to do now? Sure, they're bound to have some kind of vulnerability we can exploit, but how many of us are going to have to die finding out what that might be? Anyway, consider yourself warned, Sam. Be careful out there, okay? So what do I do with it then? Hmm. Well, that's fucking scary. Well, you're gonna die. Uh, this guy.
let's go. Come on, I'll cut your cord. getting really upset. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna have to keep moving, little dude. I know that's up there, but I'm just gonna ignore it. And maybe change to this. To, um, no, that's not what I need to do. I need to do to repair spray. I think that's a good hologram. Yep, must be. Hold down, Lou. Good job. Let's go. So close. Oh. 
Alright. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Fragile Express ID. Verified. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Alright, that was good. That was scary, but it was good. Make delivery. Deliver requested cargo. Yeah, that's for you, friend. you doom sufferers see that end of day stuff i put the nightmares down to fatigue a uh, possibility of chiral contamination never even occurred to me uh, it's just lucky we caught it before the suicidal stage hmm. dying's not an option my research is nowhere near complete it's not just my life you're saving here it's my life's work good let's get you on the network i started to wonder if i'd ever see these meds I guess you really are good at what you do, huh? Thank you. Bum bum bum. Awesome. Connection. Hell yeah. Why no more bots have completed deliveries and now available? Okay. See, that's all right. Better than nothing. Dum dum dum. Leveled up. Oh yes. Yep. Right then. <laughs> if you'd do the honors. Will do, bro. Strand established. Good. Geologist has joined the UCA. Ooh, a climbing anchor level two. Mm. And just like that, I'm part of the UCA. With access to a treasure trove of historical research materials, studying this fossil beach should be a good deal easier now. You're welcome. Assuming I can prove once for all that that's what it is. Honestly, though, I'm just excited I can finally share these findings with everyone. Can you believe I found chiral deposits in strata dating back 65 and a half million years? Evidence of an ancient death stranding. Chiral matter has existed on Earth since long before the dawn of man. This stratum is proof of that. Look at this, Sam. Do you see that black fissure there? We believe this is the source of the Chirelian readings. In the distant past, earthquakes caused frictional melting along fault lines, producing layers of what is known as pseudotachylite. We call these layers fossil earthquakes. Okay. Extending the principle, our fissure here is what one might term a fossil beach. The presence of Corellium in this of all strata cannot be a mere coincidence. It strongly suggests that beaches must have appeared during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. And not just then. The Chiral Network has recovered data suggesting that similar fossil beaches were discovered in strata corresponding to other extinction events too. It's cool. That would seem to indicate the Big Five and all other major extinctions were accompanied by the appearance of beaches. In expanding the Chiral Network, you've helped us glimpse a pattern in these scattered points of data. You furthered our individual research projects and ensured that it is only a matter of time before we recover all we have lost and solve every mystery that remains. But this is only the beginning. See this through, Sam, and there's no telling what we might learn. 
Mm. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. What orders? Hmm. Beach related art. Oh, I might send that on a bot. Deploying autonomous delivery bot. And then uh, take on. I'm not going to the roboticist. I am going back to Hartman's lab. So I'll take that. Improved version of climbing anchor. It's more compact form enables more anchors to be packed into a single container. It also boasts improved durability and time fall resistance. Okay, so you just have to carry less of them. I also want... Um, two of those... Another power skeleton, probably, because I think this one's going to die. Um, carry a spare. All terrain skeleton. Oh, a new gun. Fabricate those things. Uh, load it onto the carrier. Carrier. Um. Oh, that's high. It's in the big case, my um, spare thing. So I don't want it. That one's got full ammo here. So I'll put this one away. Uh, climbing anchor level one. Climbing anchor level one. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Okay. Order assigned. Actually, no. I'm not going out there. I'm going to check on Lou. I really need to do this. Love hearts. Good job, Lou. Hmm. That's 
That's good. Good. Alright. Yeah, now, where are we going? Uh, remove these markers. Now we're going to the paleontologist. I wonder, can I get straight over the top there? Probably not. Hmm. I kind of want to try. I'm not going that way. Because that would take me straight back through that bit, which was a disaster. So I want to come from here. Alright, we'll go... Something like that. And we'll see how that goes. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, cool. Alright. Let's get out there. to stay sunny for a while too so my stuff can charge. multiples of these where's my um, path that I drew ah I went the wrong way maybe I can use a climbing anchor to get down this bit in fact I will <coughs> Suit's gonna run out. 
or has run out. There's nothing I can do about that. I thought bringing an extra thing would have a fresh battery in it as well. But now I'm on slow mode, I guess. Struggling through the snow. build a thing out here. What's that sign pointing to? Charge, guys. These things are just scary. <laughs> walked, man. Who's alright? Zero percent damage. That's pretty awesome. It's gonna be awesome. Awesome! Yep. Connect him up. You can 
set up the chiral network while I work. Will do. What was that little bit that I haven't done? Paleontologist has joined the UCA. Paleontologist provided design data for the following, an oxygen mask. Automatic grenade level two. Okay. Anyway, as it turns out, Sam Bridges, I have a favor to ask. Of course you the do. local porter was on his way here with something very valuable, but dropped huh. it on route. It's a 200 million year old ammonite, which looks, he says, almost as if it were still alive. He apparently stumbled across it in a boulder field, which had previously been hidden beneath a glacier, but that's not the half of it. The man claims this ammonite has an umbilical cord. <sighs> an umbilical cord. Color me skeptical, but the specimen merits study, and I wasn't about to leave such delicate work to an amateur. So I asked him to carve out the whole surrounding chunk of rock and bring it here to me. Naturally, I wanted to compare it with contemporary specimens in the vicinity, which is why I had him excavate a number of those in addition to the one he told me about. But mm -hmm. what does a dumb fuck go and do? He loses the whole shipment. Didn't even have the good sense to mark which container had the ammonite with the umbilical cord. The cargo was supposedly lost in the area to the southwest, where toxic gases have a tendency to build up. Old Mr. Reliable right. claims his cargo scanner is broken, and there's no way he can recover the shipment. But you... you could track it down. To protect you against the fumes, I'll provide you with an oxygen mask. Okay. Just to be safe. You can pick it up when you accept the order. Okay. That fossil could represent an epical discovery. While there are examples of viviparous fish, viviparous. an ammonite with an umbilical cord is unheard of. And if okay. it is indeed 200 million years old, it would also correspond with the end Triassic extinction, another one of the big five. Could the umbilical cord be connected to the beach? We must recover that cargo at all costs. It could provide a vital clue to the mechanisms underpinning the Death Stranding. We're so right, close, let's do it. so very, very close to grasping the true nature of the phenomenon. Hurry, Sam. We cannot risk that ammonite being lost. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. I don't even have any batteries, so... Hmm. I'm nearly, like, off the edge of the map here. Is there a time limit on this or anything? Oxygen mask, ladders, and climbing anchors. Wow, well, seems like it's going to be hard to get to. Just give me a moment, guys. Need a rest. <sighs> this stuff's heavy, you know. What if I was to sleep?
need the sun to charge my batteries. All right, let's go. Okay. so long. Is this not far away? <coughs> Except an oxygen mask, huh? Good idea. It'll filtrate the air and keep you breathing normally. In addition to protecting you from toxic gases, it'll also help to reduce fatigue from strenuous activity, making it easier to keep your balance. If it didn't have a limited battery life, I'd tell you to keep it on the whole time. It does, so don't. Okay. Hematic grenade level two. An improved version of the standard ability to decide exactly how much blood to use enables precise control over the effect length. things got a gun uh, oxygen mask hmm looks cool Wants me to take ladders and climbing anchors, but I've got climbing anchors. All right, I might take a couple of ladders. Um, what's on the ground? need to bring the carrier. Oh, maybe I will anyway.
It's only 150 meters away. How deep is that? Hmm. Over here. Bum bum bum. So it's easy to get out of there, maybe. So we can see. Construction Toxic gas known as a VOG, and your consciousness gauge will be depleted. Once fully depleted, you're no longer be able to move. An oxygen mask will be worn to protect yourself from these effects. Yep, I'm wearing an oxygen mask. Um, climbing anchor? Let's go down here. There we go. Five containers. Grab the rope. Go back up here. What? Stretched it too far. No, oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Ouch. Um. 
I'm gonna fucking... Zip up out of here. Seems easy. A waste of resources, probably, but whatever. All this stuff I'm wearing and carrying is draining my battery so fast. Probably not a good idea. Construction. Wear everything. But whatever, while I'm up in the mountains. Sunny and pretty up here. I like it. It's better than the snow covered mountains. Really don't like it there. It's harsh and scary. Charge on the way through. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. That was a pretty easy job. I like that one. Nice and simple. Delivering cargo. Ammonites. Am ammonites? Uh, you found it. Yeah, of course uh, let, I did. Let me see. I, I have to see it. Oh my. It really is immaculately preserved. Uncannily even. Awesome. You interviewed Dada. Meh. Some more bandwidth, more structures. Ooh, Volcano Orange. For the backpack. That could be fun. More resources. One or more bots have completed deliveries. Okay. Oh. Sorry, junk dealer. You got junk because it all got damaged. Ooh, he's nearly full. Mm hmm. Expert transporter. You've been awarded the title of expert transporter. Let nothing stand between you and your cargo safe arrival. Truly, delivery volume grade 40. You can now carry more cargo. That's cool. Thanks for bringing in that lost shipment, Sam. And You're yes, welcome. it did indeed include an ammonite with a bona fide umbilical cord attached. I've already sent some images and a preliminary analysis to Hartman via the network. Interestingly, it seems the surrounding strata contain traces of tar, which lines up with one of his theories. Anyway, I, I know you only just brought this ammonite here, but I'd like you to deliver it to a colleague of mine, an Evo Devo biologist. Sure. Lately, she's taken an interest in the tar. I think she'd be eager to examine this particular specimen. All right, let's do it's it. It's quite remarkable, and that's to your credit. To clarify, she has been studying how the tar may have influenced the development of various organisms. Accordingly, I would ask that you also recover the tar collectors deployed near her shelter. 
and deliver them along with the Ammonite. It would be too dangerous for her to attempt to retrieve them herself, which is why we must impose upon you. By aiding her research, we may yet inch closer to unraveling the secrets of the Death Stranding. Right. We've already made so much progress with the data recovered by the network. With your continued help, I know we can accomplish even more. Let's do it. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Right. Mm. Tar extraction device and ammonite delivery Evo Devo biologist. So go there, pick up something. How hard's it gonna be to get there? I wonder if I should make like a bike. I wonder if I could even ride a bike. Probably not. I'll just walk it. Accept order. Um. Yeah, just one. Just one blood bag. Do I need... I don't need anything else, do I? Got ladders. Maybe a... No, um, how many of these do I have? I have two. Two's enough. Okay. Uh, carry on back. Blood bag, placing a pouch. Uh, okay. Container repair spray. Used blood bag. Yeah, that can stay on the ground. Um. I don't need level ones. I don't need any of this stuff, actually. I got a couple of ladders. Yep. Uh. Might put that on the on the carrier. Got a couple of repair sprays. Got my guns. Be good to go. I also don't want to wear the things anymore because they drain my battery. I don't know what just happened. I'll just put it down. Yep. Um. Should be a little bit easier on my battery now. Order assigned. Wait. Can I do a bot delivery? Uh, bot orders. One or more bots have completed and now available. lot of damage. C. It's better than nothing. Uh, yeah, go do that. Maybe that standard one to Hartman's lab I can take on. Um, no, I'm not coming back. Time sensitive insects. 30 minutes. Hmm, it's not going to happen, is it? No, nah, 
It's not gonna happen. Don't worry about it. I'm going. I'm taking my little trolley and I'm out of here. Thank you for having me. Chart a course over to the Evo Devo, whatever the hell that was. That way, probably. Um. Yeah, all right, so let's go this way. Isn't there another... Um, yeah, it's over there. Oh, it's like just next to it. That's all right. Boots last a long time. These boots have lasted for ages. I don't want to go back into the snow. There we go. Probably could have made a car and just driven it around that way. Like, I might even go that way. Over there. <coughs> sort of around the mountain a bit more than over it. Might be a bit easier on the... All the gear and the climbing might be a bit easier. And getting out of the snow is good for a little bit here. Things I don't want to see. Awesome. And we are off the network. Pit we're going down into. I don't want to go down there. <laughs> I don't think the game cares if I want to, though. <laughs> That's where I'm going. That 
is a fairly cruisy little bit, but it doesn't look like fun down there. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, not cool. Not cool down here. Where's my um Wait Where's my otter? with the snowstorm down in the valley. That's a bit weird. Old Volcano Observatory. so far. Got grenades. Level two. Let's use level one. sneak up on them and hope to cut their cord.
Drop that. thing I can do about this guy is try and cut the cord.
Okay. The BT. It it found someone, and there was a void out. I don't think we can come back from this. I think, I think it's over. What the fuck? What just happened, man? Corpses left unincinerated can cause large void outs. If this happens, you need to find a blackened seam in the seam, approach him, and hold triangle to rewind and try again from your most recent save. Same go. Golden strand. Yeah. Yeah? Where the hell am I? Okay. Where was the body I missed then? Give me a sec, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. So we just nuked something somewhere and 
I don't know. So I'm just gonna keep going about my work. Okay, yeah, my ammo is back. That's cool. I'll have to go through all these BTs again, but what are you going to do? I don't know what those really big ones are. stuff on my back got wrecked pretty quick then and on the trolley all right so we've got to get it's our, it's our job here uh tire extraction device and ammonite delivery There's collect all four containers of tar extraction devices. Deliver the animites in the four. Collect four tar extract and bring them to the Evo Devo. Okay. So there's four. Wait, do I currently have one? Is that what that was saying? I've got the um, ammonites. Okay, so I gotta get these four things. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Hmm. 
Mindestens bei Engern. Ja, das ist cool. Maybe. Terrifying. What is the things? One more here. One inside. Um. Yeah, whatever. Kill the big guy with a uh, one of these uh, level two hermetic grenade. Is that it? I'm just trying to... It's not scary at all. Sitting here rocking a baby. Come on, Lou, cheer up, man.
that's scary. up Killing me, it's really letting the team down. <laughs> Such a silly mechanic, but you know, it's there, so gotta do it. Need you to cheer up, Lou. We haven't got far to go. And I've still got some ammo. Not much, but some. Up here. Alright, sure. Serious problems going on here. Uh, 
drop. I didn't mean it. Damn it. Oh, there's nothing I can do now. Is this up the mountain? Oh wow, it is too. It's gonna be a tough climb. I'm gonna go up this way. Yep, all right. Slap. <sighs> Wish Lou would wake up. I need a um like a base. Devo biologist. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Fragile express ID verified. Weapon detection. All weapons will be locked until the point. Cargo verified. Thank you. Alright, we're here. Deliver requested cargo. Yep. 
Take it. Take it all. Attempted this. It was fucking Man, scary. Not a scratch on it. And the tar inside is safe and secure. You do not disappoint, my friend. You know it. Awesome. Get on the network, lady. One or more bots have completed deliveries. Whoa. What a damage. Happy. Now, connect me to the Chiral network. Will do. That's where my studies will truly begin. Strand established. Evo Devo Biologist has joined the UCA. Grenade launcher. That's interesting. A thank grenade you. launcher. No, it thank goes you. goes without saying, but I am convinced that the tar is related to the BTs and the Death Stranding. Okay. After all, both it and Timefall are the defining features of the post-stranding ecosystem. Okay. Sudden environmental changes such as these invariably lead to the extinction of organisms that fail to adapt. Those that do adapt do so by virtue of enhancers, the regions of DNA that grant successful organisms their advantages. These genetic factors are the key to evolution. But there are genes which have the opposite effect, those which disadvantage organisms. Extinction factors, as they have been called. These are the seeds of advancement and obsolescence. Such factors may lie dormant within us all, a choice waiting to be made for every being since the advent of life itself. If so, an ancient proof may hide deep within the tar, evidence of these genetic decisions that may aid us in navigating our current crossroads. In any event, thanks to you, I can now study the composition of the tar in greater detail. I'll make sure to share You're any welcome. interesting results with you later. All right. Well done, Sam. Hot man. You furthered our research into the Death Stranding in ways you cannot imagine. Thank you again for bringing me Mama's body, as well as that ammonite. Speaking of which, my analysis of its umbilical cord is proceeding apace. I didn't bring it. I've been Did comparing I? the data against some of our restored archives. Anyway. Would you mind returning to my lab? Yeah, I'm Preparations coming, are finally complete for the chiral relay integration. Chiral if you could collect the necessary materials for the restoration work and bring them here, I would be most grateful. Okay. Well, I don't have a beep beep. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Um. Live fish? Yeah, I will do that. I just need to, um... Work out if I can get BB. Uh... What materials has she got? Not much. How much does it cost to build a um, a home base thing? A grenade launcher? A 
That's cool. I uh, really need... Blue Awake again. Um... See, I don't know how much it costs to build this. Structures can't be built that close together. You'll need to settle for a different spot outside the sensor ring. Oh, well, that's not gonna work. Beginning scan. Scanning the bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. All clear. Welcome. Sam Porter Bridges. Just need a flat bit of ground outside of the Insufficient ground contact. This is flat as I can find. Or is it because of the snow? Must be because of the snow. That's annoying. <laughs> up your lost cargo while I was just dicking around out there. Delivering cargo. Hello. Excellent work. You went above and beyond the call of duty. calls. Goodbye. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Hmm. 
do I need? What do I need? I need mud bags. You know what? I'm just gonna. It's annoying because I can't check what I have. Now I can't. Oh, yeah. Okay. Order assigned. Back to it. So silly. Um. Recycle. Um. Toxemic. Nothing I can do about that. It sucks. Um, I need one of these. I need a non lethal assault rifle three. Don't need a grenade launcher yet. Handgun level two. It's gonna be hell trying to get all the way out there without a BB. I don't like it. Spray. I got two repair sprays. He's probably better. Let's go this way. Something like that. Let's go. With no BB. Restrictions lifted. I feel like this is not going to end well, but 
Bloody boulders flying at me. This is not a nice world, is it? In fact, it's downright horrible. Across there. I'm gonna go that way. Bugger it. So intimidating. So up and over there, which is just there. I'm okay. For you to be Reverse track, long range. When did I last have one of those? I don't remember having one of them.
glad we made that little trip without anything happening. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until the target. Cargo verified. That's my truck. Thank you. stuff you want. A whole bunch of fish. Delivering cargo. Hope I can rest here. I really Delivery need a rest. Complete. Displaying performance evaluation. Ish. Just an A. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Precious paintings. Awesome. the bot. It's like, how do I do a C? Yes, yes. A lot of delivery. Cargo address to Porter, awaiting collection. What is that? Alright, let's provide a design data for the following. Backpack accessory, crypto bio. Thank okay. you for your continued support. Good work. New order available. Sam, just checking, but have you been reading your mails? No. They might contain some useful information. Keep an eye out for the ones with yellow subject lines. Those are high priority. Try to get into the habit of checking your inbox from time to time. I really need a rest. Can I rest here? Thank you, Sam. In reclaiming our past, we've uncovered a number of vital clues. Don't worry, I just got back. We have time. <laughs> when you met with Mama, you experienced a strong antigen antibody reaction, correct? There was a BT in the room. There was, but something else may have been causing it. I've discovered large quantities of chiral matter in Mama as well. Not just the usual kind that collects on our skin or on our suits. It's in all her cells. Cells that are no longer active. The BT you encountered there was special. It was her child, but also her own soul. Somehow, her car and her failed to separate. They must have remained connected through the umbilical cord. It's the only explanation. Is that why I didn't get a bruise where she touched me? Mm. Yes. And there's more. Ten seconds to cardiac arrest. Five, four, three, two, one. I modified the log times. Headquarters will have no record of what we say. Mm. Look, a message from Dead Man. It came with the umbilical cord. Sam, uh, I'm sorry. You deserve to know what you were carrying. But I couldn't risk Die Hardman finding out about the case. So I had no choice but to keep it off the books. Mm. You've got to keep this between us. 
we still don't know if the director can be trusted. The umbilical cord was taken from Bridget Strand. I removed it in secret. The cord wasn't attached to a fetus. It was outside her body. She asked me to take care of it. Said it was the key to unlocking the Death Stranding. But she insisted that I never tell the director. Hmm. The cord shows no sign of decomposition or necrotization. Almost as if it's frozen in time. I thought Hartman might be able to make sense of it. So I had it hidden with her cargo at Mountain Knot City. Dead Man's observations were accurate. It's just like Mama's corpse. What do you mean? I mean they share a very unique property. Both contain large amounts of Corellium in their cells. In other words, the President's cord was somehow connected to the beach. And that allowed it to escape the flow of time. Okay. I've put together the bones of a theory. It's patchy, but worth sharing, I think. Life on Earth has been rocked by many extinctions, great and small, including the Big Five. And if you examine the Earth's strata, its history, if you will, you'll find Corellium deposits that can be dated to each. What if the manifestation of, uh, of beaches and other associated phenomena correspond to extinction level events? Mm, you mean? Yes. Our Death Stranding could just be the latest of many. The records and research you helped us to recover strongly suggest that we are in the middle of the sixth extinction. Sixth extinction? Come on. You know what this is, yes? A frozen mammoth from 10,000 years ago. Correct. And this? The Iceman from our five. 5,300 years ago. They both have the same umbilical cords. <laughs> Bullshit. Humor me. What if the mammoth and the Iceman weren't frozen? You're saying time stopped for them just like it did for Mama? Hmm. Mm. Unfortunately, all these specimens were lost in the Death Stranding, so there's no way to examine the genuine articles. But some fragments of data did survive. With the aid of the chiral network, we may be able to piece together something more concrete using Evo Devo tech. Evo Devo. All right. How's this? A dinosaur, dinosaur from 65 and a half million years ago. Umbilical cord, not decomposed. Uh -uh. Only mammals have umbilical cords. Mm -mm. No. Only mammals have umbilical cords used for childbirth. This mm. is something else. Call it a strand from the um, other side. I propose that mammalian umbilici are a sort of mimesis of the strand that then evolved over time. We shouldn't assume that everything about a death stranding is detrimental to life. Trilobites, ammonites, dinosaurs, the mammoth, the iceman, all preserved as if frozen in time, all without exception, found with strands. Mm. Which is to say that all may have been connected to the beach. And this, when viewed in the context of the extinction entity, EE theory, leads me to surmise that organisms with strands are in fact extinction entities. You see, Sam, EEs are connected to the beach via their strands. And it is through this connection that they somehow bring about a death stranding. So you're saying Bridget was an extinction entity? It's far too soon to say anything for certain. And since you burned her body, we may never know. Higgs said Amelie's an EE, and she doesn't have dooms like the rest of us. Sam, think. 
assume that President Strand was an E. Isn't it possible that her daughter is too? Mm. At the very least, Higgs may hope as much now that the President is unavailable. So he kidnaps her for E powers or whatever to cause a mass extinction. Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps not. I doubt a single E is powerful enough to cause a death stranding. Assuming Amelie is an E. Well, Higgs sure thinks she's got what it takes. Indeed. And we need to get her back as soon as possible. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something mm -hmm. secure. Ah. This one is real. Sam, go west. How do you want me to handle Die Hardman? With your customary reserve. <laughs> Nothing good will come of him learning of our suspicions. Whatever else is going on, we still need the chiral network. Okay. I really need a... Like a home base. I'm sure I like man. I don't know what to do with them, but thanks for them. <laughs> and he's dead again. Materials are prepped for you. Supplies are limited, so handle them with care. You'll be carrying a lot, too. All things considered, this might be one of your hardest runs to date. Hartman knows more about the site than I do, so he'll take it from here. Sure. It's about time for his wake up call, anyway. Administering shock. Stand clear. Uh, wake up! About that way station. The site we have chosen was an original candidate for the way station we lost to the top belt. Okay. Uh, ironically, we suspended construction because we deemed it a little too unstable and not worth the risk. Okay. But this time it's our best shot. So let's hope we weren't right to change horses in midstream. Fortunately for us, the foundation we laid down is still intact. All you have to do is transport the necessary materials to the site and finish the job. Sounds I'm easy. I'm afraid it's the only way we can expand the network further west and rescue Armory. Okay. We're counting on you, Sam. Sure. Uh... That's ages away. Love to try and drive there. structure. If you want to build a new one, you need to do so outside the sensor ring. I know. Thanks for telling me. Oh. Alright, then I just have to try and get the materials to build it because I really need to take a rest. Uh, 
What's it cost? 2400 special alloys. Twenty four hundred special alloys. Just yeah. run back up here. See if this mark has got twenty four hundred special alloys. Got eighteen hundred thirty four. That's annoying. Um, it's the only thing I think of. I can't keep doing missions. Without BB, and I'm like stuck up here in the mountains. Need another six hundred special alloys.
I really need a rest. Like, really badly. Need like 600 or something. 800. It's annoying. I guess I should just go back to mountain. Not there's like nothing else I can do. I can't keep going out this way. I need a base. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Hmm. If there was any trouble getting here, hmm. I could probably make it in the truck back to Mount Not. I'm just gonna have to do that. Oh! 
wasn't too bad. Wasn't good, but wasn't too bad. Begin the scan. Scanning bridges on the truck's hammer. So rusty. Rest is advised. It's been a day. <laughs> Look at you, muscle man. This is way more than what one reporter ought to be able to carry. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Special alloys. I have. Give me, um. Need like 700, so if I take. something back to Hartman I can do that no send the bots out then that's it all right Everything's fixed. Good. Good, good. Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. Uh, I wanted to do this. Guns in the cabinet now. All right. 
that new color scheme for things bb should be recovered should be good now there's anything i desperately need to do except drive back to hartman's place now finish building that base This way. Oh, that's the one I just took. All right, we'll go this way then. Truck up a hill is so frustrating. Why is it? another way to go that way like as soon as you hit the turbo it just goes whatever way it wants why does it go back down Sick. Let's get this truck over this mountain.
where's the truck going? I swear it just goes wherever it wants. Okay, I just want to go up. It's going to go back down the mountain. Look at it. It's going back down the mountain. I can't do anything about it. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is frustrating. All right, we're going forwards, forwards, forwards. Going nice and slow. We're just going to creep through here. over there. If I go up and over this on my... Uh, that's where I'm going. Alright. Oh, so frustrating. are in the party. So stupid. Uh, 240, 480, 720? Maybe that's enough. Finished? Yep. Please stand clear of the designated construction area.
position. Which is to... What is it? Remember, Sam. Your objective is to bring a new chiral relay online by the tar belt. And to do that, you'll need to collect the necessary materials at Hartman's lab. And once the relay's up and running, you'll be able to proceed to Edge Knot City. Good luck. Thanks, man. That's a long way away. That area is not cool. I wonder what the best way is going to be to get there. Probably driving. And just wing it. Okay. It's alright, I have a truck. I will... Take a couple of PCCs. Uh, climbing anchor level two. I need one of these and a shotgun. No, uh, um, handgun. Got a carrier. Got ladders. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um. Load them all under the truck. Wow. The hell am I carrying? All these thermal pads. Um, oh, it is what it is. It's fine. Okay. That's it, I'm going to leave it there for this afternoon, because then we'll embark on the journey to finish off the network tomorrow, I think. So um, yeah, thanks for tuning in, we'll be back tomorrow with some more, and I uh, hope to catch you then.